Good evening, everybody. Thanks for staying up late with us on this Saturday evening. Here's the weather headlines. We may see some areas of fog through the overnight hours. Severe storms are possible Monday late afternoon and through the evening. Uh, damaging straight line winds will be the primary threat and somewhat unsettled over the next several days. There'll be a lot of dry time in there, but almost each day there's going to be the chance at picking up a shower or thunderstorm. Live scan of our Doppler radar shows some ground clutter around the radar screen here, especially in Ottawa County. But further to the south, we do have some activity down here. This is not strong. It's not severe, but any place where you see the orange transitioning to almost the red colors in the radar screen, that's some pretty heavy rain that's falling out there. Got a couple of lightning strikes here and there. So as you go to the southeastern portion of Cass County, right through the middle of St. Joseph County from Three Rivers to Constantine up to Menden over to Colon, we've got some heavy rain that's falling. And the next county over as you get into Branch County from around Bronson through Coldwater, very heavy rain, a couple of lightning strikes just to the south of Tecancha. This is all lifting off to the east north east at about 20 miles per hour, not looking for anything severe through the overnight hours, and that will be out of here in the next probably 90 minutes or so. Hey, we've got a lot of moisture in the atmosphere out there. We look at moisture with dew point temperatures. The higher the dew point temperature, the stickier it feels out there, the more moisture there is. And when you have dew point temperatures in the summertime in the upper 60s to around the 70 degree mark, that tells me there's a lot of moisture in the atmosphere, so it's going to be a muggy night. Uh, and leave the AC running if you have the option of uh, doing that, because you'll be a bit more on the comfortable side if you do that. Temperatures right now, actual air temperature 74 in GR into the mid to upper 60s across our northern counties and in the upper 60s to around the 70 degree mark across the southern counties. Most of our lows tonight won't fall below about 67, 68 degrees and we'll have that stickiness and that mugginess as well. We've got that humid air mass that's in place across most of the upper Midwest and the Great Lakes and that'll stay in place through the next couple of days until that cold front sweeps through here later on Monday and brings in some of a slightly cooler, drier air mass. Take a look at clouds and radar moving over the last six hours. The thicker clouds over the next few hours will be south and east of Grand Rapids with those showers and storms that will eventually lift out of here. We've got some clearing or some broken clouds off from Grand Rapids to the north and west. That's the good news there. We'll call it variably cloudy as we go through the overnight hours. Look at our future track HD computer forecast model, which will outline the next three days at 6 a.m. Not much going on tomorrow. Partly cloudy to partly sunny skies. Can't rule out an isolated shower or thunderstorm, but most of us miss out on that. We go right into Monday morning, maybe a shower or thunderstorm on Monday morning, but the better chance comes in with this complex of storms and the actual cold front that will sweep in here. We stop this at 10 p.m. on Monday. We've got a cluster of some showers and thunderstorms. Some of those could be on the strong to potentially severe side with damaging winds as a primary threat. That lifts out of here later on Tuesday morning. We see some sunshine by Tuesday afternoon and somewhat cooler, drier air. Not much, but a little bit. Our skycast HD forecast and for tomorrow on our Sunday temperatures around 82 degrees. Some morning fog, a little bit on the humid side, partly cloudy to at times partly sunny skies with a west southwest wind at 6 to 12 miles per hour. If you're heading out on the big lake, here are your Lake Michigan water temperatures as they were taken this morning. For you boaters, waves will be running about one foot or less with the westerly wind at about 5 to 15 knots. Seven day forecast will show you temperatures around 85 on Monday with some afternoon and evening showers and thunderstorms. Some of those could be strong to potentially severe. A few lingering morning showers early Tuesday, otherwise some afternoon clearing 80 on Wednesday, 85 on Thursday, and you see more of the unsettled weather with some more shower and thunderstorm chances by the time we get in to next weekend. And that already, believe it or not, is the first week of September. Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Several patients receiving experimental treatment.